Welcome to our channel Electrical and Control Engineering. We provide the research simulations in the field of optimization specially power systems and renewable energy resources. To seek our help in your research or simulations. Please contact us at the email given in the description. This the demo of simulation of perturb and observe MPPT for solar PV with buck boost converter. To see the detail design kindly see our other detailed video which contains the MATLAB modeling in detail. The thumbnail if the video is shown in detail here. Today we will describe PV model with MPPT buck boost converter. That implements perturb and observe algorithm for maximum power tracking. So basically there are three sections of this model. The first section is the modeling of the PV. Second section is the perturb and observe algorithm. And three section is buck boost converter. First of all let's open the PV model. The PV modeling is implemented in this functions. Known as PV current calculation function. So this function is taking solar irradiation and temperature as input. As the output of a PV module is dependent on the solar irradiation and temperature. So we have to provide the solar radiation and temperature to this MATLAB function. That implements the PV module. The output of this function is supplied to a current source. That is the current of this PV module. The output current of this PV module is shown here. And this is the output voltage of PV module shown by VPV, and output current of PV module is shown by IPV. So input module is giving solar irradiation and temperature to this PV module. We can open it taking a little bit time. So we have simulated the system for one second. So you can see the solar radiation and the temperature for one second. We have deliberately set this profile of the solar irradiation and temperature profile in this abnormal way. To verify the robustness of this MPPT tracker. To check whether it follows the maximum power point of that PV module or not. So initially the solar irradiation is constant till 0.2 second at 1000. And then it goes decreasing to 700 something. And then again it increasing at 0.4 it becomes constant up to 0.6. The solar radiation is constant and then it continue to decrease and goes to 400 watt per meter square. Similarly the temperature at start is 70 C and at 0.25 it starts decreasing. In the output power you can see that at 0.25 both the solar radiation and temperature are decreasing. So the PV output should be decreasing more rapidly at this point. So at 0.3 the solar radiation is again increasing. And as solar radiation is the major factor in the output of the PV. The temperature of the PV is decreasing so the output of the PV will be increasing. After it will keep on constant level. And then again decreasing as solar radiation is reducing. See how this PV module is modeled. Please see our other video dot that explains the modeling of the PV cell dot in detail. The other module is MPPT tracker. So let's open it. Here you can see it is taking the voltage and current of the PV module. After taking that voltage and current of the PV module. It is calculating the duty cycle for the DC-DC buck boost converter to extract the maximum power from the PV module. So let's further discuss the perturb and observe algorithm of this MPPT tracker. It is the simplest method of MPPT to implement. In this method current and voltage is sensed. And power output of system is checked by varying the supplied voltage. If on increasing the voltage, 
power is also increases then further duty cycle is increased otherwise start decreasing the duty cycle. Similarly, while decreasing voltage if power increases the duty cycle is decreased. These steps continue till maximum power point is reached. The corresponding voltage at which MPP is reached is known as reference point, VREF. The PWM generator converts the duty ratio into the PWM to operate the switch of the buck boost converter. At that specific duty ratio, the MATLAB implementation is described in detail our previous video related to MPPT and PV modeling. The buck boost converter modeling is also discussed in that video. So here we are going toward the results so let's see the results. First of all let's see the output PV power and output power delivered to the load. This will give us the idea that how closely the output power was tracking the PV power. So you can see in the simulations that dot the load power is approaching the PV power very closely. Which shows the effectiveness of this perturb and observe algorithm implemented in this simulation. Next graph the input voltage and output voltage of the buck boost converter is plotted. This shows that how much output voltage was bucked and boosted. With the changing of the solar irradiation to track the maximum power point. Three graph shows the PV characteristics. It shows the PV module voltage and current. You can see with the change of solar irradiation and temperature. Both the voltage and current of the PV module are changing. And the last graph is the, the output power of the PV module versus the duty ratio. You can see that how the duty ratio is changing when the, the PV power is changing. It adjusts itself to extract the maximum power from the PV module to deliver that power to the load. So with the changing of the PV power the duty cycle is being adjusted. So the DC-DC converter either works as a buck converter or boost converter to track the maximum power operating point. Thank you very much for joining us. If you have any project, you can contact us at the email given in the description. For any question do not hesitate to comment. Again thank you very much.